coming up next, uh, we are going to provide you with um, an update from a Six Nations Elected Council in the House. Shout out to Six Nations Elected Chief Mark Hill. Hey, happy holidays, sir. Happy holidays to you as well, Al. How are you? Not too bad. I hope you don't forget my gift this year. <laughs> I, got, I got you the same, thing, <laughs> the same thing I got you last year. <laughs> oh, different color, I hope. <laughs> Well, thank you again. I just want to uh, uh, apologize again. I know we uh, postponed my last uh, two shows, so I have a decent update for, for our community leading into to the holiday season here. Uh, Scano, Sagal, and good afternoon, Six Nations. I hope this message finds you and your, your family safe and healthy, both physically and mentally. I want to start today by going straight into our update on our community's COVID-19 case numbers. Since last Friday, the number of active cases has remained steady at just one. Uh, given the rising number of cases in surrounding hotspot areas, including the Toronto, uh, GTA, and Peel regions, as well as the Ottawa, and Hamilton, and the, and the U.S., uh, our numbers obviously is, a, is a truly a great accomplishment as we uh, maneuver through such unprecedented times. Uh, I came across a couple of posts yesterday on Twitter uh, from an educator named Ryan uh, Im Imgram. Uh, he referred to the incredible job Six Nations of the Grand River has done uh, in reducing our, our, our weekly numbers. He has also called our new COVID plan that we introduced uh, clear and concise and evidence-based. So I really just want to congratulate our, our, our team and the, the work of the emergency control group uh, and as well as our health staff who have worked uh, so diligently to, uh, to assist in putting this uh, new system or plan that we have uh, together in terms of monitoring. Uh, like the rest of our COVID-19 responses, which began all the way back in March, uh, the new alert level system has been designed specifically for our community. The color-coded system reflects Ontario's, although ours has some additional measures uh, to reflect the realities of our community, including that the, the fact that First Nations peoples are more likely to catch, spread, and experience the symptoms of the virus. Our emergency control group worked with public health officials uh, the Six Nations Police, as well as our communications team and many others from our community to create the new improved system. A reminder that our community is currently in the yellow response level. Uh, the health and safety guidelines uh, we are asking you to follow in the yellow response level include a limit of 10 people for private indoor gatherings and 25 people for private outdoor gatherings. People are still asked to please continue wearing masks and practicing physical social distancing at any private indoor or outdoor gathering. Each week, the incident management team will conduct a risk assessment and track indicators such as virus spread and containment, as well as uh, in the healthcare system capacity. If the indicators show that the level of risk is increasing, then we may need to increase our alert level status, which means increasing the level of measures and restrictions at the community level. If the indicators show that the level of risk is decreasing, then our alert level system may go down, which means decreasing the level of restrictions that is currently in place. And although travel is not restricted during the current yellow response level, our public health officials are still advising strongly against this. Uh, and we continue to ask our members to consider keeping their Christmas holiday plans local and within your own homes and within your own families. If you do decide to go ahead and travel during these holidays uh, season, you must self-isolate for the 14 days after you return home. While you isolate, please monitor yourself for symptoms of COVID-19 like a fever, a dry cough, or shortness of breath. It is important to remember that a person can be infected with the virus without showing any symptoms, so you have to self-isolate whether you are showing symptoms or not. You can visit sixnationscovid19.ca uh, for more tips on monitoring yourself for COVID-19 symptoms. I know we've asked you to keep many celebrations local and quiet this year, but I think we can all take comfort in the fact that the light is at the end of the tunnel and we just have one more push until we start to see this pandemic winding down. The Six Nations of the Grand River community needs to be aware that it will likely be several... <laughs> Several weeks before we have access to the vaccine. 
A community-based COVID-19 vaccine task force team is working with all available information and engaging in a fulsome planning process that is reflective of rapidly evolving planning that is happening federally and provincially. As of today, timelines are unclear as to when the vaccines will be available for rollout at the community level. Therefore, Ashwigan Public Health is not aware of any succinct community members who are eligible this early in the rollout. In the meantime, we all must continue to follow the core and health and safety principles in the fight against COVID, which are again, staying home when feeling ill, even if your symptoms are mild, only leaving your household for essential purposes, only gathering with those within your household, maintaining physical distance from others outside of your immediate household, wearing of a face covering or mask when in public places, cleaning your hands regularly with soap and water or hand sanitizer, uh, and regularly cleaning and disinfecting commonly touched surfaces within your home and or at work. If you would like to arrange a COVID-19 test, please call the Six Nations Assessment Center at 226-446-9909 or toll free at 1-855-977-7737. Contact tracing is still a very important tool we use to contain and slow the spread of COVID-19 in our community. So please consider keeping a journal or using a voice recording app on your phone to keep track of your activities and the people you interact with over the last 14 days. A couple of other important numbers to remember include the COVID-19 hotline for businesses at 519-750-4908, as well as the emergency food support services at 519-717-3404. Uh, in other community news, uh, the Central Administration Building will be closed the following date, so December uh, 23rd, closing at 2 p.m., uh, as well as the December 24th and 25th, our offices will be closed. We are also closed from December 28th to January 1st, with our offices set to reopen for regular hours on January 4th. Uh, the Waste Transfer Station is also closed from December 24th to the 28th, uh, and December 31 to January 4th. And a notice to our Six Nations High School students who did not receive their checks, uh, they can do so on December 21st and 22nd uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, and as well as December 23rd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that can uh, all be at the Six Nations Administration building. Uh, another just quick reminder, uh, is for our pre-registered clients in regards to food baskets. Uh, they will be delivered on Tuesday, December 22nd from 8.30 a.m. till 4 p.m. Uh, that's the Christmas basket deliveries. Uh, we are, they are asking to please make arrangements for someone to be home and as well if you can have uh, your dogs tied up. Uh, if you feel you have been forgotten or are still in need in terms of Christmas baskets, you can contact Terry at our Ontario Works office at 519-445-2084 or Jocelyn at 519-761-0534. Uh, again, we, as we approach the holiday seasons, uh, on behalf of myself uh, and the elected council, uh, and as well as Six Nations Council staff, I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday with their immediate families. Uh, and again, uh, like each week, I want to extend my gratitude and appreciation to our local radio stations, again, for allowing me to continue to provide these, our community with these regular updates. Uh, so until then, again, wish you well, happy holidays, uh, and we will look to, uh, in the new year, providing back uh, with updates uh, regularly happening every Friday, both here at CKRZ uh, and as well with Jocasta Radio. So thank you again, Al, for allowing me to join you. And uh, thanks to you as well, uh, Chief Hill, and the very best to you and yours this holiday season.